highways, bridges, water resources are all hugely important to our society. And civil engineers are the designers of the, the built environment and the infrastructure and the public works of which we use every day. In the engineering field, you help society. And to me, that means a lot because what I'll be doing when I get out benefits society. It's, whether it's improving a road, improving water distribution, or the infrastructure, it's beneficial. And that means a lot to me, as being able to, to better the society and to do something that's meaningful. I don't know, it's, it's been the best decision I've ever made because the, the small department atmosphere really makes a huge difference, and that's what I love about it. Here, it's, it's like a family. You see faculty all the time. Their offices are always open. Even if you're, you don't have them for a class, they're always willing to help. And anytime you need help with anything, like a project, you just stop by and they stop what they're doing and they help you instantly. We have a small college environment, so we have lots of personal interaction with the students and the faculty. And then that technical rigor that's in our program, combined with the barracks life of leadership that they have, you know, marries very well with the technical degree. Everywhere you go, you're going to be on a team. And that's how the world works. There's teams are involved everywhere. And being involved in the core, you learn how to lead teams, you learn how to be a subordinate, you learn how to work with peers and lead your peers. And that goes into the academic world when, when you're on a project and your buddy's having trouble and you, you know how to like pick them up and say, hey, let's go, we need to get this done. And once I get out of school, then me leading my peers in, in the core is gonna help me and I'll have a leg up on everyone that hasn't had these experiences. One of the best moments of all time for me was when we, uh, we won the Carolinas Conference against other big schools in our area and uh, we had a really great team effort and our students, uh, they didn't really think that we, would, we had a chance to win and so it made it even all the better when we did win and uh, it was just a very exciting time and uh, we had earned the right to be the first place team in that particular competition and it was just a great, great moment. We went to Nationals the past two years and working on the steel bridge is something that you, you get out of the classroom and you're, you work with your hands and you're doing stuff you learn in the classroom in a practical application. And yeah, it's a lot of work and yeah, you're giving up leave time, but just seeing the bridge and seeing it compete and be successful, it's a, really rewarding. Getting students outside of the classroom and working on projects, whether they be community service projects, service learning projects, helping the neighborhood, uh, whatever kind of event that we work on together is a, our service to the community. It helps the students develop and they just do an awesome job. We have great um, teamwork and camaraderie. Civil engineering is not hard, but it's just a lot of work. And it's completely up to you if you want to put in and do the work because that's, that's what cuts people a lot short because they're not willing to put in the time and the effort to do what the demands that the teachers have on us. And that's what separates us out, I think, from the rest of the school. Engineering, civil engineering, electrical engineering are probably the most rigorous uh, degrees on, on the Citadel campus. And, and it's up to you if you're going to work harder and choose to you know, work beyond just the, the study periods that the school prescribes. At graduation, 100% of our students have job offers. When the economy is having a hard time, uh, there's still a tax base that is still being used to build public infrastructure. And so that's one of the strengths that the civil engineering has.